Hey guys, welcome to how to do a Google smart shopping campaign in under five minutes. This is no bullshit marketing. Let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do, I'm assuming you have a Google ads account. If you haven't go ahead and set one up, it's very straightforward, very easy to do. And the other thing you need is a Google merchant center account. So first things first, you come into Google ads and you will see you've got the campaigns, search campaigns, display campaigns, and shopping campaigns. You want to hit the shopping campaigns and then make sure that this campaigns here is selected also in the sidebar. Then you press add new campaign. Wait for this to load. Okay. We want sales. This is for e-com stores. Obviously you're not going to sell services on shopping bang sales. Now what we want to do is shopping. You got smart here. So what I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose shopping. And then when you come down to here, you've got your Google merchant center account set up. You need to look at another video on how to set up a Google merchant center account. I'll put a link in the description so you can have a look at that. Also very straightforward. So here we go. You've got your smart shopping button here connected and you go through and continue. Okay. So you name it something. So I would name it, whatever the campaign is, I'm going to say, for example, test. But if it was a music shop, I would say music shop or whatever the name of the music shop is. And then dash, let's go, or don't even worry about the dash. Let's just go with test. And then I'd definitely say smart shopping. Okay. So you know that that is what we're after. All of this is automated. Google's not silly. They know what they're doing. They're in the business of making money. So this smart shopping campaign is going to be perfectly set up for you, ready to go. You can set a target return on ad spend if you click this and you put in a percentage amount. I'd strongly suggest not to do this because what you want to do is get the data flowing through. You want the data, it's going to cost more in the beginning. But eventually Google will figure it all out and refine the best price for you. So budget, I'd say $50. Don't do anything less than $50. Google might hit that target in the first day, but it might not. Uh, a lot of the time, like I said, it's just about getting that data through so it can use its automated thinking and learning. So that's the best thing. If you want to set a start and end date, go ahead and do that. But I always just run it. You can press pause if you don't want to run it anymore. So save and continue. Okay, loading. Now you leave this. Generally, when you've connected your Google Merchant account, it will connect to that smart shopping list that is in the previous section. I'll also do a video on that. I'll put it in the description. I've mentioned that before. So here we go. I've uploaded a logo, but you can upload a logo, which is also in the Merchant Center. But um, you don't touch this section. You come down to here, you've got image, you can choose a file to upload or recently used. So generally, this is the size you're after. So 799 times 418, I think it's 800 by 420. That's a perfect one. I'm going with this one. This is the music specialist that I'm going for. And then you just save that. Okay. And then as you can see, it gives you a little nice little preview of what you're going to see in the remarketing. So smart shopping, it's all about remarketing also. It's not just about getting those views on the top of Google search. You can do a short headline. So music specialists, you know, oh, I can't even spell like you have got, uh, see, I'm not even that. Google specialists, and then you can write like a little description. Um, just say best prices. is true. Um, and then just say we have um, best prices in Australia. And you can also say like, if you have any niche, like free shipping or something like that, just pop it in there. This isn't too important because generally Google will pick up on the actual products. So final URL, let's go here. It's music specialists. 
not afraid to show that. So bang, I add it to there, get rid of that. Um, and then you can put in HTML5, which is like an animated ad, but don't worry about that. Click save. Then you come through to this section and it is absolutely 100% completed. It's under review. That's how you actually set up the Google shopping campaign in Google ads. So easy, so effective. And I found really, really good results with this campaign. I also run standard shopping, which is where we manipulate and tweak and say, if they want some in Adelaide or in the US or in California or in Texas, we tweak it and refine it and make sure that you get the best bang for your buck. However, the smart shopping Google campaign is a decent way to get started. I've actually found that sometimes Google smart shopping is even better than standard. Not always, especially the way that we manipulate and we have our methods and algorithms and everything set up for standard shopping. So, with that being said, that's a perfect way to get started. If you have any issues, put some answers in the description, put some answers, put some questions in the description. I'm happy to answer them. I always get back to you. And the other thing is, if you find this helpful, please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe, bell notification. You know the drill, everyone on YouTube. Struggling to speak, it's that time of the day. Let's get it. Thanks for tuning in.